today is Thursday and I'm at my old uni because our firm is giving a data analytics course. Today is actually Thursday, September 20th. Today is payday because it's the 20th of the month. Oh my gosh, and this is my old uni. So I'm parked at the right place. It's just a bit far. So here's the deal. I parked the car and then I didn't pay for parking because I'm a rebel. And then I asked the manager, do you know how much the fine is if you don't park? And he's like, go pay for parking. So that's what I'm up to right now. So yeah, the past two days, I've been literally MIA sick. Right now I feel much better. I still am a little bit feverish, but yeah, that's also the reason why I haven't uploaded in the past two days. But um, yeah, I'm off to go pay for this parking thing. this is but it's kind of pretty I got a gift as a thank you for participating in the course from the university at the end of the data analytics course there was a happy hour and I got to talk with one of the PhD students in accountancy overall I think the day was kind of good I think we missed the mark however when it comes to being simplistic because a lot of the things that they taught to the students I didn't know this was the first time for me hearing them and so I can only imagine how complex it must have sound to the students but I think that in the end it turned out to be fine because it was very interactive and because of that the students had to come up with their own solutions and try to figure out like how to solve or how to substantiate their answers and I think that made it kind of okay. All in all, I had a very, very eventful day. I learned a lot and I'm so happy that I was able to participate in this data analytics course. I am home and I am exhausted. I'll, I'll do a quick outfit of the day. This is a quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing heels and black stockings as well. All right guys, so I got upstairs and I realized I didn't even really tell you what we did today. So. We went to the University of Maastricht and we gave a course on data analytics. So we started the, the afternoon off with an associate partner giving a speech on how technology is affecting the way we audit and how we can expect it to change the way we audit in the future and also how we use data analytics to help us in the audit nowadays. He talked about different ways that technology is going to change the audit. He didn't just talk about blockchain, he also talked about drones, he talked about RPA, which I made a video on a very, very long time ago. And it was just really, really cool to be there because I, it was quite interesting to see how, how the students were trying to grasp the concepts that we explained to them. Um, and they really tried to make it, uh, you know, they really tried to reason their answers because for example, one of the assignments they had to do was to, you know, you have a balance sheet, uh, you have different balance sheet accounts and then different income statement accounts. And then they had to determine whether they would classify each separate account as significant or insignificant based on the threshold that we gave them as well as you know on their own reasoning because you know generally we classify accounts as significant if they are above a certain threshold because we don't audit like very small accounts those are not interesting to us and those obviously don't contain material errors even if they are misstated um, so we we generally only audit accounts that are above a certain threshold and so and so it was just interesting to see how, how the students were trying to reason why they would classify certain accounts as significant or insignificant. Apart from that, so, so they got to do that using data analytics. And apart from that, they also got to, you know, try to figure out the correlation or, you know, how revenue and sales are correlated and, you know, where it goes wrong using data analytics. The data set was conducive enough to do that because there were several points where you, know, you would see, for example, sales increase and tangible assets increase. And generally you don't expect a correlation between those two. So the data was conducive enough to have enough questions um, as long as the students were critical enough when analyzing the data. 
And that's pretty much what we did. So, you know, we didn't even get to do the whole program. And I think that's also because it's very complex. A lot of the things that the students got to do today, I've never done before. And so it was also very much a learning experience for me. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining. I will post another vlog tomorrow and I'll try to catch up on the vlogs that I miss, but no promises there. <laughs> um, and yeah, have a beautiful day wherever you are and greetings from the Netherlands. Bye.